Whoa, it was like so peaceful and then the twist like <laughs> That was a bit of a juxtapos juxtaposition there of sound, didn't appreciate that. But hey guys, welcome back to Eagle Island. I'm the Comic Foil, and this is Steam Sember. Um, I, did I say welcome back to Eagle Island? Welcome to the first time to Eagle Island, our Steam Sember, Steam Sember game. Um, so I guess there are two different versions of the game now packaged together. Um, we're going to start with, I guess, the classic version of it. I'll have to do some... Uh, research, I guess, if this is what gets voted for a full Let's Play. Um, okay, so this was originally a action platformer roguelite, but I think it got turned into... I think they made a, like, regular adventure version of it. That, that That's interesting. But we're gonna start by playing the game as it was originally made with Eagle Island. Um... Yeah, I guess Twist is... Anyway, uh, new story. Um, we'll take the entry version. I see that there's different difficulties here. Um, place seed. Select the seed. Levels are identical each run. Oh, I get it. So you can, like, put in a certain seed, and then the way it procedurally generates levels will be the same way. That's cool. Okay, the recommended way to play levels are randomized each run. Yeah. Under the sapphire blue sky, Quill sets off on an adventure with his faithful owls, Koji and Ichiro. Together, the three companions sail among the peaceful islands of the Atriotic Sea. Atriotic. When all at once a sharp wind sweeps from the north, and blinding lightning bolts sunder the sky. Blistering heat engulfs the boat as it bursts into flames. A monstrous grip tightens around Quill's chest. And here we are. A lot of games start with shipwrecks, you know. Um, Alright, so it's a platformer. We got our two owls. Um, and we're here on what I believe is Eagle Island. Okay, yeah, holding lets us jump higher. And, ooh, look at all this. Okay, and there's, like, a grip to land on things. There's a map in the upper right, which is nice, so I guess there's, like, a little bit of, like, levels can be, like, a little bit Metroidvania-like. Uh-oh. Something used to be chained in here, and now it's not. So this was a game I originally heard about from a uh, three-minute review on The Escapist. Um, and then Some Call Me Johnny did a review on this. Uh, okay, there's fast travel. Neat. Whoa. Big shadow. That, that effect was very... Uh, ow. I didn't know you would bite me. I don't appreciate that. That effect is very, uh, Metroid Fusion. I think more indie games were influenced by Metroid Fusion than we tend to think. Whoa, big, big eagle. <gasps> no! No, my owl! He took my owl! Hey, kid, that was... That wretched eagle-sized... Eagle seized your bird as well. I am Dr. Oliver Ornis. Just recently, the eagle snatched feathers of my own. Uh, 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 oh, it snatched feathers, my own owl. You have an owl named Feathers. The eagle's name is Armara. She threatens many birds on this island. Three totem birds of elemental power are hiding nearby. They hold power beyond anything you can imagine. We need to find the totems before Armara does. She only seeks to increase her own power. Take this ancient falconry glove. Its power will help you on your journey. A falconry glove from ancient times. Press X to cast Koji off. Uh, head west now to the glade. I've seen 
totem Zephyra darting through the trees there. Let's hope you find her before Armara does. Alright, so I can now use Koji as a projectile. Oh, sorry, Koji. Um, no, they took Ichiro, though. Ichiro! Okay, but now I can defeat birds. Oh, and there's a kill count that came up. To aim, a falconer should first hold X to call their bird, then point in the direction they wish to attack. Continue to point in the direction and release X to cast the bird off. Simple enough. I'm... For some reason, I'm always bad at these kinds of aiming reticules. Like, it... I have the same problem in, a In Iconoclast with, a with Mina's weapon. Do you just not have enough range to reach up there? Or is it because I'm... Okay, I can... If I jump and use the reticule, I freeze in place. As long as their bird is successfully hitting monsters, the falconer can remain suspended indefinitely. Don't be afraid to suspend yourself above monsters. Okay, that's a little... That's a little tricky, so you really need to make sure that you're landing the hits, though. Okay, and these are explosive, I guess. Oh, I... <laughs> Thanks for catching me, Koji. I, I thought that was a way I could go down. I wasn't just... I wasn't just, uh... Falling on purpose. Okay. So this is an aiming reticule I'm going to have to get used to. Entry, Greenwood Glade, first run. Um, what's this? Hit, hitting a mushroom times three heart, I think is what it's saying. So... Sorry, this, this is a little extra hard for me right now, especially because my left thumb has been kind of screwed up lately. Um... It's, like, a little bit swollen. Um, I think it's just from too much gaming. Um. Okay. So I want to watch out for the spores, I'm sure. But, cool. Okay, money. I, I don't know what money is used for yet, but... It, must be good. I'm guessing I can buy upgrades back in the town and then I can take the upgrades into runs. Or maybe I can buy temporary upgrades. So so in roguelites, there's usually multiple forms of currency. And one of them can be used to upgrade you permanently and one of them can be used to upgrade you in the run. That's generally how roguelites like this work. Okay, yes, yeah, so that crow wants 12 money. Uh, Quill releases an explosion of anger when taking damage. An explosion of anger? Okay. And Quill is me. I'm Quill. The owl is Koji. So I'll, my character will actually, like, send off a wave of damage when he gets hit, I guess. Yeah, I guess if I use the, like, suspend feature, I can make more of these attacks as straight shots so that I don't have to aim as much. Okay, that door looks like it opens when I get 15 kills. So let's go collect some more kills. Um, uh, come on now. Cool. All right, so I... Now have the kill counter that I need to get through that one door, but let's keep exploring up here. Um, yeah, owls are great. Owls are a amazing animal. They're so cool. Um, I got really into owls when I was a kid. I read those uh, those books, The Guardians of Gahul, 
If any of you guys remember those, those are, you know, not like... I don't want to say young adult novels. They're a little too... I think they're aimed a little bit too young. But they, they were kind of like Animorphs in like what the like recommended reading level of them would be, I think. And the main characters were all owls. Um, press A as Quill impacts the ground to spring high in the air. Okay. Yeah, so I have like limited token slots, I guess, and those might be procedurally chosen. Yeah, I've never done a full... Oh, I was about to say I've never done a full playthrough of a roguelike before, but yes, I have. I did, um, I did Darkest Dungeon, which was, I believe, my longest Let's Play on this channel. That is incredibly roguelike. It is a roguelite, but it's, I'd say, pretty not light. Um, okay, that statue isn't anything. Uh. Okay. So, oh, that statue was something, and oh, hello, it's a toucan. Um, you look like you're offering me things, but I don't understand what they are. Um, can I talk to you? Okay, the t it's toucan trading. Uh, welcome, traveler. Buy anything you like with your silver coins. I would like to buy things. Okay, so use to launch elemental attacks. Hmm. Recover one health point. I don't need that. Increase Quill's maximum health. That's always good. Display chests and warp points on the map. Op open three chests for free. Cast Koji off at a faster speed. Or Koji collects items for Quill. Let's increase our maximum health. Okay, we still have 11 to work with, so... I'm gonna save my silver pieces a little bit. Okay, and this shows you the map. Oh, and you can fast travel. You can use this to fast travel to other statues. Neat. Okay. I, I hear this game gets pretty hard, but I think I'm down with it. I, I'm interested. I wonder if the story is any different in Eagle Island Twist. I have to do some research. Um, does it take the same story, but structure it into a more straightforward adventure where all the levels are, like, not procedurally generated? Or... Um, is it, like, a new story? Because it looks like it's a different protagonist. It looks like there's a female protagonist that takes Quill's place, maybe? It's nice that, um, when I bought this game, it was just Eagle Island, and then I think Twist, um came out, and I think they updated all versions of Eagle Island for free. Ow! Okay, so that boar could take more than one hit, it seems. And I gave off an explosion. Oh, so... So you see... Sorry about my creaky chair. Um, It looks like the more I use these abilities, the more it, like, uses up a little meter... Oh, no. Um, it looks like my medallions are going down with time. So that's disconcerting. Uh, bully. Monsters drop a bonus gold seed or silver coin when hit. Okay. Nice. Give me your money. Oh, that's... Yeah, I should pay more attention to the minimap. At least I don't seem to take damage when I fall because Koji catches me. Okay, so it looks like all of these items that I'm getting are only for a limited time. Um, I 
Okay, I don't have 108 gold, so I can't open that yet. Oh. There also seems to be, like, a chain bonus if I kill enemies close together. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Now, is it still falconry if you're doing it with an owl? Would that be owlry? And what do we have here? Uh, ancient coin, forged in times gone by, now worthless to all but one. Uh, gonna get rid of my spring jump, I guess. Which is sad, because the spring jump is very fun, but I think maybe the ancient coin is something that I need to bring back to town. So the trade-off is that it takes one of your item slots. But what can you do? Oops. Okay, I wanted to see if I can blow up that boar. What? Alright, we got him. And here comes the toucan again. Um, my items are full though, so I'm not gonna buy anything from the toucan right now. Okay, how, how big are these levels though? is what I would like to know, because I'm pretty sure if I die, I have to start this level all over again. Oh, what did, what did we just lose? Oh no, what did, what did we lose and why did we lose it? Wait, that was, I'm trying to remember what I had there. That That's where my uh, anger, the anger explosion was. Which is weird, because we weren't really using the anger power much, but yeah, I guess they're just all on a timer. Okay, well, we are collecting a lot of gold. If we were to go back, we can open that one chest that costs 108, but there's a new chest here, so let's see what it is. 57, huh? All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to walk into him. Uh, wall jump. Quill can slide down and jump away from walls. Cool. Yeah, we might as well take it. So that's cool that there's ones that give you movement options. What's dangerous about that is anything that... So, like, in a lot of games, I tend to not take the things that increase, like, movement and speed and stuff like that. Because I don't want to get... As I play the game more and more, I want to get used to how the character moves all the time. What, what's gonna happen is I'm going to get used to having this wall jump and then I'm gonna forget when I don't have it. So I'd like rather just like never have it than get used to having it and then have it taken away. That That's not true though. I just have to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Is this... Yeah, I went through the wall here. There's a secret passage. Cool. So, what do we have here? 68, 100, and freebie. Cool. Um, oh, I have 99 silver on me. Cool, that healed me. Oh, I think I'm overhealed now. Awesome. Okay, uh, lots of things to kill here. I see how this ga game might get, how, like, the levels might get way harder le later, because anything where your main mode of attack requires aim, like, it's all, it's all skill shots. So that's a little dangerous. Um... Yeah, we can launch elemental attacks, we can heal, we can... Let's increase our max health again. Or no, let's replace that because 
That one's almost broken. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just realized my phone's been ringing. <laughs> sorry. Uh, the music in this game has a similar, like, like, bit quality to it as my work phone's ringtone. So, sorry about that. Uh, they're calling me off hours anyway. Uh, Koji bounces off solid surfaces. I don't know about that. Regular... Oh, Koji does. That might be really good, actually. Yeah. Um, regular Koji inflicts double damage. I want double damage. Yeah. So regular as opposed to what? Like an elementally charged Koji? All bug monsters drop a heart when defeated. Sure. Yeah, let's uh, use it or lose it. Thank you, Mr. Toucan. Um, whoop, all right. Did you know that uh, toucans are technically woodpeckers and that's why the Pokemon pick a peck and Trumbeak eventually evolves into two cannon. Um, Cause yeah, they have a big beak used to break wood and eat the insects that are inside it. So like, yeah, they're literally a woodpecker even though two cannon, a, a, a two can is more like a wood hammer. Uh, Koji flies further when attacking with Tailwind. Cool. Then, uh, I'm gonna, even though I just bought this, I'm gonna drop the bug thing. That, that would be nice that each of these guys drops a heart when they're killed, but I'm doing a pretty good job not getting hit, so let's just hope we don't need that. Venablossom. Okay, you're pretty cool. And let's just watch it has a projectile that's going to drop the plants on us, I guess. So... Yeah, it, like, fire seeds that makes things grow, I guess. Alright. Not too bad so far, not too bad. Yeah, you're... Oh, I'm hit. Okay. You're getting pretty red there, Venablossom. Easy. Easy. You got nothing, Venablossom. So, yay! That's one of the bird... Oh, no! The totem bird? I needed that totem bird. Hey! Uh, Zephyr's Feather. Launch an attack which could change through foes. Watch your mana rock meter. Okay, we uh, beat Greenwood Glade. Apparently we got three stars for it. That's cool. And we got the coin. Um, got a time. We saw all the rooms. Seeds, owls cast off. Sweet. Did I not skip any monsters? It looks like I killed every monster. Okay, next time try gaining higher combos to get more of these stars, I guess. Yeah, so I guess we can get an A rank and maybe an S rank by getting a higher score. Um, awesome, and most importantly, we didn't die. Not even once. So... What am I supposed to be doing with that, like, lightning feather that we just got, I wonder? Um, I guess it doesn't particularly matter. <laughs> so is it going to be you go to each of those totem birds and they get taken by the eagle just in time? Zephyr got taken? This is terrible news! Our Mara gains the power of lightning. You managed to swipe one of her feathers. That will make Koji so powerful. It is imperative that you rescue Totem Magura and Totem Ikora. Go now, I've sighted Totem Magura high in the desert sky. Okay, so now I can go that way. What is... is there anything down here? No, it looks like that just goes back the way we came. Cool! 
So now we get to go to the desert area. Behold a charge feather. Oh, to change feather. I was pressing X, not B. Okay, so this is regular. And now we have lightning Koji. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just going to keep throwing my owl against the wall here. Okay, so I think I need to light all of these crystals. Cool. Alright, Lightning Koji. And that brings us to a fancy desert level. Cool. Uh, this de desert is very close to the area that was lush and green, and then all of a sudden it's very stark. <laughs> Stark sand. That must be the desert level. Okay. And how are we on time here? This is Gemshine Mines. Um, what are you telling me there? Times to... Oh, so you'll give me a diamond for times two and a heart for times three. Is that what you're saying? Uh, to use an elemental feather, a falconer must expend mana rock. When playing core difficulty, entry difficulty, or hardcore difficulty, earn mana rock by defeating monsters in quick succession. Got it. So, wait, I want to I wanna do this right. Okay. Okay, so as... I couldn't quite get three in a row, but as long as I kill two in a row, I get the mana rock. That's cool. I like how it's spelled mana rock like... Like R-O-C, like the bird rock. Okay, I, I'm already full now, so... Wait, why is this door still... D does it need me to... show that I... D does it need me to do it with lighting? Yes, okay. Alright, let's just, um... get Mana Rock one more time. <laughs> That's a funny sound it made. Oh, they throw dynamite. D dynamite has been thrown. We got dynamite on the field. Okay, do you need lightning to be dealt with? Uh, okay, it looks like that paralyzed you for a little bit. Oh, I didn't... I didn't know you'd shoot needles that way. I wouldn't have suspended there if I knew that. Now would I? I guess we need to find some hearts. Oh great, this game has an annoying beeping mechanic when you're hurt. Hello, Crow. May I open this, please? Uh, Koji collects items for Quill. Okay. Yeah, I would like the game not to beep, please. N like, not at this exact timber. It's a little bit upsetting. Um, I'll wait a second to go down there. Oh! Hi, everyone! Alright, let's switch to lightning feathers. There we go. That took a lot of lighting to deal with, but okay, please, um... Please give me more maximum health, and please heal me. There we go. Um, what else are you selling, Toucan? The map, the bully emblem, Koji recovers quickly after missing a target in midair, and... Time slows whilst aiming Koji. Oh, that sounds nice. Good way to practice my owl throwing skills. 
All right, we got a minecart zone here. Oh, wait. So, instead of suspending at all now, time just slows? No, I don't think I can suspend while I'm in the cart, so I think it would have moved like this anyway. Cool. Okay. And I think that puts us at about time. Yeah, so... Oh, whoops. Wasn't... I wasn't looking at the screen, I was looking at my timer. Okay, so... Um, this has been Owl Island... Sorry, uh, Eagle Island. It's named after the eagle that's terrorizing it, not the owls that we brought. Um, but yes, if you want to see more Eagle Island, um, then one, thank you for watching the video. I guess you can always re-watch videos over and over again if you want to try and get something the, um, the most viewed counter. Uh, but also uh, give the video a like and... Let me know in the comments that you want to see more. Remember that most views, most likes, and most votes in the comments will become uh, full Let's Plays on the channel, as well as one of these Steam Sember games that I just decide should be a Let's Play. I get a pick, too. Why shouldn't I? I'm the one doing all the work here. Anyway, this has been Eagle Island. I said that already, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new game.